Good evening, guys. This is Chris Work of Profit Dig. Uh, first, I just wanted to thank you guys for taking the initiative uh, to start creating your account. Um, obviously, you realize the importance of having a tool to effectively you know, manage project costs, creating your bids. Um, if you're like me, you know, seeing is believing. And so I just wanted to put together a quick little video just to sort of give you a little walkthrough of the capabilities of Profit Dig. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to log into my account. So I've logged into my account. Um, now this process is a little different. Obviously if you're signing up for the first time you have to create your company, uh, put some information in there, contact information. Uh, if you want to proceed with the trial you can enter your, your credit card for security purposes. Um, and then the system will actually walk you through the setup process. It's, it's, it's very easy uh, once you've gone you know, from the beginning uh, to getting everything created and set up for your company. Um, however, you know, if you start that process and then you decide that, you know, you know, maybe profit dig isn't for me or I'm having second thoughts or, or maybe you don't want to share your credit card information, you know, whatever the case may be, um, I want to extend uh, a free 30 day trial to you, you know, no strings attached, uh, no credit card. Uh, however, in doing so, um, the process for getting everything set up for you will be a little different because you're not you're no longer in the setup funnel, so to speak, where the system will step you through the process. Um, so this is the dashboard. Uh, you know, once you have set up, you know, your information for your company, it's going to take you here. Once you log in, you'll see it has you know obviously me, Chris Work. This is the owner info. It has the company name, address, you know, contact information here. You can see projects. Um, the guys with the dollar signs, these are bids that I've been awarded. And I'll show you more on that in a second. Whereas these are bids in progress. I can see my system users. And by system user, now that's a person that will have a login to your profit dig account. Uh, it could be an admin, it could be a superintendent, it can be a foreman. Um, you have different permission levels depending on your role within the company. Uh, for example, a foreman, you can create a crew and assign a crew and equipment to a foreman on a job site. He is able to log in and log time for his crew members and equipment hours. Uh, for a project that he's been assigned to, but the foreman uh, will not see personal information such as someone's hourly wage or something like that. You know, we don't want to cause conflict within the company. Whereas an admin, um, you can see everything, um, and you can assign yourself various statuses depending on you know exactly how you want things to to display for you. So anyway, let's move on here. Uh, you can see at the top you have your, your main navigation. Um, obviously account, you know, if I needed to change my password or just simply wanted to log out. Now under company, this is sort of where you will go to create anything under your company umbrella. So for example, I can go under employees and users, and this is just a lot of data that I've put in here for demonstration purposes, but you can see all of my folks within my company and their hourly wages. Uh, I've got little labels on them here, uh, so I can see pipe layer, truck driver, I uh, have an operator, I have a laborer. You, know, you can create these codes and assign to them so it's easy to see. Now you may ask, okay, why is that helpful? The reason that's helpful is once I've created people and once I've created equipment, which again have their own little classifications here, you, know, you can add new pieces if you need to or make edits or even delete something. Once I go to my cruise, and this is where I can piece all of this together. <clears throat> the reason it's important to have a crew is, is because, for example, my grade crew one, I can see I have a foreman, I have all of these people here, and I have all of this equipment. Now, granted, this is demonstration purposes. I probably don't need three C40s here. Um, but the idea is, is that I can build this out. If I need to use grade crew one on a job, then I can build that grade crew then I can assign that grade crew to 
uh, bid items on my bid proposal and the bid proposal will account for all of this expense that's going to fall on me during the job. To show you something else here too, like let's just say I wanted to make a modification. Let's say Jonathan is no longer on this crew, no big deal. Adam, no longer on this crew, and I need to add someone new. Well, the system already knows who is where. So if I need to add a pipe layer, it's showing me my available pipe layers. Uh, if I need a labor, it's showing me everyone who's available here. So it's quick and easy for me to add Darren. See, now there's Darren. I've added that labor to this job. Now, if Darren is already here, you see he's no longer available to add to the crew because he's already part of it. Subcompanies, uh, we all know what a subcompany is. Same deal here. This is really so we can just get the company information in there so that I can use them on my bid. And then I can assign costs to them. So when they send me a bill, I can log that cost on, in the system on my job and I can keep track of it. Manage bid items, extremely important. What this does is allow you to quickly put together your bid proposals. Um, I know a lot of you guys may be working in Excel or you may even be using uh, some type of desktop software uh, that allows you to do you know, something similar to this, uh, but we just feel like that we've been able to create something that's sort of taking it to the next level in terms of how quickly you can put together a bid proposal. So it's basically broken down into two sections. You have headers and you have bid items. A header, in this example, now I have some test data in here, so some of this may not make sense. Let's just go down here to something that's a bit cleaner. For example, grading, 2000, I have grading. I can tell this is a header because it has sub items. You can tell by these little not, these lines here that this is a sub item of 2000 grading. You can also tell it's a header because I have the option to add a bid item to that header. I can do that. Let's just say I'm going to do 2026 new item here. Just again, I just want to add something so I can see. So I'm going to return over here to my headers. And here's my new item right here. So now I can add this guy to a bid proposal if I need to. And last but not least, under company, you have units. Now we have system defined units and again if you're putting together your bid proposal you know some things you may be bidding by cubic yard, day, hour, linear feet, lump sum, month, week, year, gallon, the possibilities are endless. Basically whatever you need to accurately put together your bid proposal so you can quote it however you want or whatever works for your business you have the flexibility to do that. Now these are all system defined units. Now here these are custom units, acre and square foot. You can add as many custom units as you need. There's no limit on that. Whatever you need to run your business. Now beyond that, this is when you get into projects. So I'm going to pull up all of our projects here. Now again, I said these that had the dollar sign, these are awarded projects. So I'm just going to click in here. Let's look at road work. Now I'm not sure what we're going to get here because we're always just testing and doing demo demonstrations here with our our test account but here you can see I'm on a project called road work this has all my markups my profit margin on the job you know which can be anything that's 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 a number that you have to come up with my tax rate my overhead bond rate whatever it may be I can put it all here you can do your change orders everything can be done right here I can add the users or see my users on the project I can see the crews I have it now here's the really good part I can also see, here's my budget. Based on my proposal, I had a budget of $67,910.48. Every day, if I go in here and I log my employee time, or I put my equipment hours in, or let's say I had to write a check to a subcompany, or I had to buy materials, whatever the case may be, if I enter this information every day, this will give me an up-to-date profit and loss statement on every job throughout the process. So now there's no excuse for me getting you know knee deep in a project and wondering, oh my God, where am I at? Where's my profit margin? You know, how soon do I need to get this done? Now I know. All I have to do is log in here and it's gonna tell me exactly where I'm at on the job. I can add project notes. I can even add documents. Uh, once you create a bid proposal, it's automatically included here under project documents. Or let's just say uh, an engineer wanted to send me some revised design plans on this job, whatever it may be. 
I can add these documents here and they're always stored under project documents which can, viewed, can be viewed on any internet enabled device whether my phone, tablet, computer, you know, whatever it may be. So here we can pull up our bid. Now again, this is just a sample bid. Uh, this is just some information I put in here. You can see it. We'll drop down here to grading because this is you know pretty accurate here. Mobilization, clearing grub, things like that. Storm drainage. You can see you got some pipe in here. Once you bid out your proposal, if you want to preview it, it's easy. I can just push this button here, and the system's going to give me a proposal. And this is a makeshift logo, but you can upload and have your own company logo there. But you can see everything here in the proposal. I can include my exclusions and qualifications. Uh, it's all right here for the client to see. I have it here with unit price, quantities. You can even preview it or download it without this information. So here's a preview without unit prices. You know, however you want to do it is fine. Just totally up to you. I can download this in PDF format or I can email this straight to my client right here. I can copy myself or blind carbon copy someone if I need to. Everything is right here. Now you'll notice there's nothing else I can do with this proposal and the reason for that is because it's in awarded status. Once a bid is in awarded status, you don't want to go back because I've already logged time on this. If I were to go in and make any changes, it's going to throw my numbers off and everything's irrelevant at that point. I don't even need profit dig. I don't need anything at that point because I have no idea where I'm at on the job. So that's why it's important to prevent you from making any changes once something has been awarded. So let's hop down here. We can look at our bids in progress here. So we'll just pull up a sample bid here. So now if we pull up a bid that hasn't been awarded and you'll see right here, I can manage these bid items on this job because it's still in progress. So let's just say you're looking at something here and you can see the price that I've applied to this bid item 1505 structural demo. All I gotta do is click that guy. I can change any information I need to on it. If I need to change it to something else, I can go in here and then this is where I can apply different crews to it. I can add additional people or equipment if I need it. I can add material costs. You know, the cool thing is, is that I've already had a, I had a great crew one. And I said, I'm going to need this crew for 20 hours, which again, I don't need these guys for a demo project. But the idea is to show you how quickly and easy it is I can build out my proposals because I've already supplied all this information to the system. And I'm going to close that because I didn't make any changes. So we're all good there. So anyway, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, I think you'll find it very easy to use, very intuitive. Uh, certainly, if you have any questions, feel free to submit a live chat through the website. Uh, it's available usually till 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're always available by email at info at profitdig.com or certainly give us a call. All our contact information is found on profitdig.com. Um, we hope to see you guys soon, and thanks again.